Beautiful people, it's Johnny from WP Johnny, and today I'm going to do a quick run through of the new WordPress 5.5. So I've looked through it and I can see it's a whole bunch of changes regarding the block library. And then there's other like behind the scenes changes like API and, and the whole uh, lazy load thing and what else accessibility and whatnot but the major thing was the block changes so let's give that a try I have my site here so I have here um, a page that was built on the old block editor you can see this is what the interface looks like and then this is what an empty page would look like now I'm gonna go to the back end of my test site and let's just do the update and let's just see what happens my two main concerns uh, actually my two main concerns are that one it doesn't break my site and two that the improvements are actually improvements, that they're intuitive. Okay, cool, blah, 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 speed, search. Ooh, okay. Oh, I see, this is the ground. Okay, security, highlight, block patterns. I think that's really cool. I've already read up about it and I love it. Developer stuff, ooh, cool, dash icons, new icons. So you can use the built-in WordPress icons. You don't have to go installing um, your own set and whatnot, okay. So I'm going to create a new page and let's just compare it to what we have currently. This is what we have currently and this is what the new one looks like. Yeah, I like it already. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I think this might be better. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so that's how the old one was. Now, if I do this, what happens? Oh, okay, it shoves it all to the side. Okay, let me see. Let me do this. Okay, I love this pattern thing. So you can save different layout patterns so that you can call from them again later and you don't have to you know, re retype it from scratch. So I love that. Um, there's so many, you know, like little quotes and little boxes and images and things. I love that. I think that's so incredibly powerful. I love it. I love it. Okay. Well, this is simple enough. What happens if I just type gallery? I heard there was a thing where it can even make suggestions. Okay. So that's cool. I enjoy that. Now let's move on. Uh, I'm going to close out these two new, new ones. And I'm going to, this is a, one of a post that already exists in the back end. And then let's just see, see how it looks on the new editor. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I see what's going on. Let me move this over. Collapse this so we have something that looks the same. So there we are. Um, these are the block settings. This is how you move it around and drag it. And then these are the block settings. And that's how you move it around. And drag. Oh, wait. I need to click on a, a text element to get the exact same. Yeah, okay. Now, how do I... How do I move this? Do I just, oops, okay. So let's pretend I just click anywhere and I can, oh, okay, okay. I click, I click and hold anywhere in that button and I can move it. Um, what about, and this is a big one I've been wanting to do. Oh, my computer's crying and let's say I, I cut Okay, cool. So it's it's very intuitive and I paste. I like it. I like it already. I like the vibe. I like the feel. Um, excuse the lag. You know, it's, it's just my computer being... My computer doing what it does when it runs slow. Yep, fonts are a little, it's a little smaller on the side, I believe. No, are they the same? Very slightly. Very slightly smaller, I feel. I don't know, something something is different. Yeah, a little more space, but a little smaller. I like this change. Um, I, love, I love little UI tweaks like this. Yeah. Well, there you have it. It uh, hasn't broken my site. Everything works and behaves fine. And I love the, the new block patterns. I think that's great. So 
go ahead, guys. Give it a try. Have fun. Knock yourself out. And um, I, I think it's a safe update to make. So go ahead. If you like the Gutenberg Block Library, you'll love the new 5.5.